In this video, I'm going to teach you how to keep count of your rounds or roll. When you start to make a magic ring, you're going to be crocheting in rounds, basically. So typically, what I like to do is inserting a marker at the end of my round. So the first stitch of this round is actually this one where I count one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be the last stitch of this round. What I like to do is inserting a marker into the last stitch of the round. So here I got a marker. Sometimes I used a plastic marker and sometimes I just use my scrape yarn. I'm going to show you how to insert a marker into the stitch in both ways. So for the first way, uh, basically you um, under that last stitch, there's going to be a hole. I'm going to use this pointy end to kind of insert it, the marker in. So that's basically good enough as you can see here. So let me get my scrape yarn real quick. Okay, so the second way is to use a scrape yarn. Basically, it's just a yarn that I cut out. Uh, is different color than the, the, the current piece that I'm working with, so it's easier to see. So let me take that stitch marker out for a second. The first method to insert the scrape yarn is you basically push your hook right under the stitch. Take the scrape yarn, put it over your hook. I'm going to pull it through. And then hold one end and pull the other end through. So something like this could work as well, although sometimes as you crochet, you might accidentally pull it out, so that wouldn't be too good. However, let me show another way to insert it in. This way is going to require me to undo this last stitch because you have to insert it in while making the last stitch. So this last stitch is single crochet. So let me redo that. Why you have the two loops before you finish completing the single crochet, I like to insert this scrape yarn, put it over the hook and then pull through. Hold on one end and pull it through. Like that. Now I'm going to Put my hook through both loops. Yarn over hook and pull it through both loops. So I just completed the single crochet, but you can see that uh, this stitch marker is in now. The way it's being inserted is slightly different because it's inserted between the two loops rather than right under both loops. So I like to do it this way more because at least the tension is a bit more tighter than when you try to insert under it. So this is a few different ways to mark the end of your round. So I hope you like it. 